Hello and welcome back to Boo Polo Channel. My name is Pascal. When you have an espresso machine, the number one uh, upgrade that you will buy, most people will buy, is a bottomless filter. For two reasons. The main reason is it usually makes better coffee. And the second reason, it's more easier to dial in because you can lock in underneath it so you can make fine details. And so uh, this one was sent out to me and I am going to give it a full honest review. We are going to make some espresso. Uh, we are going to, uh, it, it's quite large. Uh, it's going to take more than the standard one as you can see them together. It's the exact same fitting, but the main one is, a t the one that comes with the machine is tapered in, whereas this one goes down almost straight. And that means it's going to take maybe 21 grams of coffee. So that's going to be a nice, a bit stronger coffee. So you will want to dial it in maybe, you maybe want to put more liquid in it. Sometimes uh, you might spill the coffee going into, say, a, a, a narrow uh, mug like this. So you can use a jug. I use this accessory so that I don't spill coffee, right? So. I have that, I made some coffee there earlier. I will put this on, this fits onto it uh, the, uh, so that the automatic coffee uh, grinder will, uh, will activate and not spill and I can fill it. So by using that then it, we don't spill any of it. You, I usually use a, a needle to make sure that there's no clumps in it before I, I tamp it down. Now, when you get this at first, it's going to be different than your other one. So what you need to do is you need to uh, change the settings maybe a little bit, the, the grind and the time and the amount of liquid. And then I usually give it a tamp down like this. I'll just use the normal one belonging to uh, the machine, the tamper. I could have got some more into that, but we will leave it at that. Uh, I could get probably I didn't weigh it, but I think you can, it, it, by, by altering the dial, I think I'm getting maybe 22 grams of coffee versus 18 without it. So we just put it in here. Normally you would play around a little bit with it beforehand. I've done a little bit. I haven't got it exactly right, but uh, I, I am almost there. Uh, to avoid tunneling when it's going down through it, uh, you will need to make sure it's a thing. But using a needle makes a, a good bit of difference, but it has to be. But remember, it's going to take a lot more coffee than the standard one. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll press, uh, just press it there. And And then we will, uh, I will just uh, pour uh, two, I have a bit of a shake in my hand, I apologize. And then we're going to make uh, two espressos. As you see, this would not all fit into one. So, uh, and, and then we have uh, two uh, very, very nice espressos. And uh, I am going to, uh, I am going to drink this now. Oh, I, I love my coffee. So that's my review of the bottomless filter by MHW at Three Bomber. And thank you very much for watching. And if you like this video or any of our other videos, uh, please subscribe. I'll put a link in the description uh, where you can buy this.